Okay, hello guys. Uh, welcome to Test Pro Channel. So today we have an interview with uh, David. He's uh, he's one of our successful graduates. And uh, hi, David. Thank you for joining for uh, joining in us for today. Can you uh, tell a little bit more about your background, uh, where you came from, what did you do before software testing? Uh, hello, Azad. Hello, guys. Uh... Uh, just briefly talking about my background. So I'm originally from Belarus. I have finished my school here for uh, in 2014. After that, I wasn't uh, working in that area. So I decided to, I mean, it was the easiest way actually to go and do construction for me because I didn't have any experience. I was stuck in that profession for a while, I would say. <laughs> So it's been like five years I was doing construction from uh, from nobody. I I learned everything I would say for myself. After that, I understand that I want some changes in my life. I would say. So I got a friend. He's also from Belarus. He moved uh, to US uh, like uh, probably maybe a couple of years later than me, and he was working as a QA engineer, um, QA tester for that period of time actually. And he advised me to read QA and uh, I took some uh, courses before I took one bootcamp, one other bootcamp first. And it was a, a part of computer school. Um, I wasn't successful. I wasn't uh, feeling myself uh, pretty ready actually to find a job. And uh, I stay back with the construction for another two years. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And uh, like someday I just uh, was browsing my uh, Facebook and I saw that ad ads regarding the uh, test pro bootcamp. And I decided to read about that also. I said, like I was reading and said, why, why not? I mean, I should try maybe once again. I already got some experience before. Plus, I mean, I still might be so successful if I'm going to try so I, I gave it a, I gave it a try. So I started to participate in that bootcamp for another three months. I guess it helped me a lot. Those three months changed my life. <laughs> well, and finally you were able to find a job, right? Yes. I mean, after after finishing my bootcamp, I spent some time. I spent another three months uh, to find a job, and I mm -hmm. found my first job in Amazon. Finally. Wow, that's that's really cool. Like. I I feel like most people, like most of our students just, just dream about to find their first job at Amazon. I mean, that, that's really cool. Uh, okay, David, and you mentioned uh, before the test pro, you actually took another bootcamp. And what do you think the difference between like other bootcamp and test pro bootcamp? And why do you think uh, you were able to find a job after test pro, not after the previous bootcamp? It because you wasn't confident enough or because it's a... Uh, there was something that you didn't know before like what like can you just compare them briefly uh yes i mean i would say the main difference is that after the first bootcamp i wasn't confident at all i didn't have that knowledge that i've got right now after that uh, second bootcamp with the test pro that i got uh test pro gave me the best experience with the bootcamps ever i would say <laughs> because before that i saw that bootcamp is not i mean it couldn't be as as good actually and uh, i mean it gave me a lot of friends it gave me a lot of uh communications with my groups uh, because i like that the way that uh, test pro they separated like uh the the whole team they separate, separated everybody on the groups and i was communicated with my group and we we got those stand-up meetings every day with my group it was like a real experience but uh just real experience in learning how how it needs to be right and uh, I mean, we got very good teachers also, <laughs> very good teachers, people who wants to learn. And I think if you want to learn, it would be like, you would be successful finally. If you, if you, if you know that you, you really want to do that and you, and you, I mean, you do all your, your, your attempt to do something and you will be finally successful in doing that. I see, I see. Cool. And uh, David, just one more thing. You didn't have any tech experience before, right? So you don't have any computer science degree. And uh, I mean, you don't have, like, you never worked in a tech company before. No. And 
was it hard for you like to uh, study in a like a for software tester like without like any previous tech experience or maybe like computer science degree so actually i i even took the english bootcamp not russian <laughs> <laughs> so i took the english bootcamp to give me more experience in english actually mm -hmm. and for me i think it's a big plus somebody some somebody don't like it some but i i actually prefer it better for myself it gave me more experience like talking to people even if even the, if they are not perfect you mm -hmm. still can improve yourself right but like what about from technical side like was it hard for you to learn software testing uh without you know like not having the experience in a tech field uh because like my, why i'm asking because we have a lot of students who actually coming from the different fields right yeah. uh even for me like i actually studied for economics right and mm -hmm. i didn't associate my life with like tech field Field. and then I started to work as a software tester and I mean for me it was easy but I'm just curious like what about you like did, did you feel like you, you kind of have a lack of uh, tech knowledge and or or it was easy for you just to study and learn everything like step by step I mean I was I wouldn't say that I'm I wasn't good at tech but I, I was uh, knowing nothing about the IT at all mm -hmm. I mean I didn't know anything what is software testing before i didn't know what is what needs to be done but it, it doesn't matter at all if you want to learn that you will be uh, easily learn that in that bootcamp i would say mm -hmm. it's it's enough knowledge to, for you to to get all, all of that okay uh let's talk about your job search um was it hard for you to start to look for a job after you graduated like how long it took it to get your first job and uh, what did they ask you on the interview like can you a little bit elab elaborate like that part uh, of course yeah i mean for me it took uh, three months to find a job but uh, for future students i would say don't don't waste your time and just go on the market as early as possible <laughs> i just uh, i went until the bootcamp was finished and then i went to the market but guys just prepare your resume beforehand and you will be more successful in finding a job earlier. What is, what is your other, other question? Uh, what was the question uh, on the interview? Oh, like what interview questions. Asked? I mean, basically interview questions were, were pretty simple. It's like um, uh, your background, tell me about yourself. Uh, then it, it is, they are asking like basic uh, QA questions, like what is a, what is a bug report? What is the test case? What is, what is the methodologies? that you need to know about the QA and uh, what kind of uh, team you've been working, what kind of uh, testing you've been doing, like what kind of projects did you have before? I mean, it's not that uh, that hard. It's just easy, simple questions for manual, I think, positions. So nothing that we didn't teach you on a bootcamp, right? No, 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 it's, it's all the same. You guys know all the answers. <laughs> cool, cool. Um, okay, so let's actually, um, so many people, uh, especially our students think, okay, so it's not possible to find a manual QA position. Uh, all the company requires uh, automation and automation is already replaced manual QA job. Uh, so what about, uh, what, do, what do you think about that? Or did you feel that um, it was really hard to find manual position? It wasn't that hard, I would say. I just uh, was at that time of year when the market was low. It was a uh, winter time in Seattle. And I would say right now I'm applying for other positions right now. There are a lot of manual positions and a lot of people wants to hire you. Still wants to hire manual testers. For... I yes, see. There are a lot of opportunities still on the market. So you think like it's not required, you know, automation to find your first uh, no. QA job, right? Not at all. Yeah. Yeah, I agree because I mean, if you want to know, like if, under, if you want to learn automation, it will take you probably not three months. It will probably take you six months to, because you need to know manual testing as well. Uh, it's funny because if you have automation experience and you will go to the interview, they will still ask you like uh, manual QA related questions. And yeah, yeah. we've had a student, I mean, we had a couple of students who actually skip our manual bootcamp and they took automation. And uh, they were 
they were actually failing on the manual questions, uh, manual QA questions. Like, yeah, can you can you believe that they were they were nailing all the algorithm questions? They were nailing all the programming questions. But when they ask you, when they ask them like, hey, how to create bug report or how to create test case, they just failed. I mean, it was really really sad to hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I started to do my manual bootcamp, also I had a friend. He was like thinking about getting to the automation first i said no no dude you have to jump to the manual and then then do the automation just do step by step and then you'll get get back to the automation later yeah i mean it's always easier like to learn something else right After, while you are you you're already working in the tech field right you already like in the environment you're getting real yes, experience yes, yes. Yes. And it's easier to learn automation because you can apply right away everything that you're learning at your current job. Cool, cool, David. Okay, um, let's talk about the salary range, right? Uh, so when you were looking for a QA job, uh, what was the salary range that you were targeting or what was um, what the salary like companies were offering to you? So I was targeting... I started to target 30 an hour when I started to first look for a job. But I don't know why I wasn't successful in finding those positions. Uh, I even get uh, rejected for 23 an hour <laughs> for Microsoft. <laughs> and uh, after that, I got that position for 40 an hour with Amazon. So I would say don't don't target yourself very low. Also, right? you should you should be like starting from Saudi, I would say, and going all the way up. Yep, I agree. Cool. Uh, okay, I have like one interesting question, David. Probably many students are um, confused by that as well. Like, so you're working on the one of the major tech company in the world, right? So um, Amazon actually have like more. Uh, it's actually second in terms of capitalization after Apple, right? And uh, why would you? <laughs> I mean, yeah, like is there? Um, yeah, I think it's, I think they're second one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, why would you want to leave uh, Amazon? Like, why would you like? I mean, working on the amaz such amazing company, why would you leave Amazon? I mean, I don't mind to stay with Amazon if they gonna uh, if I'm gonna grow on that company. I would say, mm -hmm. but. If I don't see myself growing, if I don't see myself uh, not only growing in title or uh, like staying for a longer period of time in the company, or but you also have to be like satisfied with your salary and everything. You, if you if you can find a better opportunity somewhere else, why not? We should take it a chance. I think. I mean, you you got that experience in your first company, then you can get that experience from second company. I would say. Yeah, I 100% agree. And especially having Amazon in your resume probably is going to be like much, much easier for you to find your next uh, opportunity. Cool, David. Okay, uh, so what can you suggest for people who are actually hesitating? Okay, like, uh, should I start to learn software testing or should I go to the bootcamp? Or maybe for those who are already um, on the bootcamp, but they're scared to start uh, applying for jobs and they're scared to go to the job market. So what you can like recommend for them? Uh, yeah, sure, guys. I would recommend you to try it out. Yeah, for those people who didn't try, I think it's it is worthy. It is worthy your time. It is worthy your money. Uh, it would save you uh, time and efforts of um, unsuccessful efforts if you're gonna do it by yourself. It would, um, uh, I mean, make that process much faster. I think it's hundred percent worthy. And you guys, if you're gonna uh, be like persistent at whatever you are doing in that boot camp, and you will listen all your uh, teachers. You will communicate with your uh, team and students. You would be successful with everything after the boot camp. You will easily find find a job. It would take you some time, but it, it just a time, right? So finally, for each person, I would say there is a uh, there is a company who wants to hire you. <laughs> So don't be afraid of that. Just uh, always try, never give up, and you will find a job. Cool, David. Very, very inspiring. Uh, okay, and my last question for today. Um, 
I know there's a lot of uh, materials for free on the internet, right? Regarding the software testing. So you can find a lot of videos on YouTube. You can find a lot of articles. Uh, do you think it's possible not to go to the school or to the bootcamp and learn everything by yourself? Or do you think like it's uh, not enough, it's worth to go to the school and to learn software testing? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's possible, but uh, it's not that pleasant, I would say. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's much harder to do it by yourself because uh, you won't be, I mean, for myself, I'm not that persistent of doing uh, learning for myself on like uh, some other sources like Udemy or somewhere else. I need like a pressure from somebody who is pushing me to do that. <laughs> and uh, plus I, when I was studying at, at Test Pro, I've got my uh, other uh, students, other uh, people who I've been working with and we've got that nice experience like communicating with each other and like pushing each other to go forward, I would say. Cool. So it's much better experience for myself. I mean. Yeah, I agree. Uh, okay, thank you so much, David, for joining us uh, today. Uh, okay, guys, if you want to join our uh, free week uh, of our bootcamp, please use the link below. I mean, it's completely free. Uh, if you like it, you can stay. If you didn't like it, you can just uh, learn by your own. Uh, it's not a problem, like no obligations. Okay, thank you so much, David. And uh, I'm gonna wish you good luck on your further uh, adventures. And hopefully it's not gonna be, it's, it's just gonna be your like first step, right? As you said, you will get like more and more um, after that. Okay, bye guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>